Immigration and Customs Enforcement is concerned that these dangerous criminal, criminals here could be walking out of the Mecklenburg County Jail at any moment. Many of them are charged with child sex crimes. They're in the country illegally, but immigration officials claim the sheriff won't hold them. So now there's a new push to force him to honor ICE detainers. We have Channel 9's Joe Bruno live for us right outside the jail in Uptown. Joe, walk us through what they want to do. Well, Senator Tom Tills is proposing legislation that will make it clear that jails are able to honor these detainers and be reimbursed for the cost of detention. All this legislation is coming at a time where ICE continues to wage war of words with Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden. Today, ICE is warning Mecklenburg County about potential people who might be released from the jail. We've reported on Ricardo Mata numerous times in the past. The former head of the Play Spanish summer camp is accused of preying on children and sex crimes. Today, ICE included him on a list of people who agents say could be released into the community because Mecklenburg County does not honor immigration detainers. In a news conference this afternoon, Senator Tom Tillis called on that policy to change. These aren't innocent illegals who all they did is cross the border and violate our immigration laws. These are people who have violated serious crimes as defined by the state of North Carolina. Whether to honor ICE detainers is up to each individual sheriff. Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden campaigned on a promise to end cooperation with ICE and he has concerns that detainers violate the Fourth Amendment. Attempts to get in contact with him were unsuccessful today. Governor Roy Cooper told us it is important for each sheriff to decide how to best serve their community. Sheriffs should be given the ability to make those choices. They're constitutionally elected. Not all sheriffs share McFadden's view, including Alamance County Sheriff Terry Johnson, who appeared with Tillis. A sheriff that does not enforce those laws should have a hard time sleeping at night. And to reiterate, we contacted the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office for McFadden's opinion on this legislation, but we did not hear back. Under Tills' proposed legislation, any community that is found to be in compliant by the DHS would not be eligible for certain grants.